The next drug we're talking about is the tinidazole, pharmacology of tinidazole. And tinidazole has so many brand names that you get to see at the end of this lecture. But the most popular brand name is the word Tindamax. So if you hear people writing Tindamax or people talking about Tindamax, they're actually talking about what? This drug known as what? Tinidazole, right? So we'll talk about the pharmacology. And the pharmacology, we talk about the classification of the drug, mechanism of action, pharmacokinetics, indications, dose and administration, contraindications. That's when you shouldn't, uh, the type of individuals where you shouldn't use this drug. Side effects, interactions, and many other things that will be talking about this drug. And of course, it's laced up with so many pictures so that you get to see what, how this drug actually looks like. All right. So for the pharmacology of tinidazole, we said that the classification it is an antiprotozoal drug. It is also an antibacterial drug. It is also an antifungal drug. That means it has effect on what protozoans, bacteria, and fungi. All right. Mechanism of action is it will interfere with the DNA synthesis of those organisms. They also interfere with the DNA repair in those microorganisms. Do you understand? So the microorganisms, once their DNA is damaged, it can repair again, it can come back. All right? That's the effect of this drug. It will inhibit nucleic acid synthesis and cell division. It will disrupt mitochondrial function and energy production. All right? Pharmacokinetics. Absorption is absorbed, is rapidly absorbed in the GI distribution. It's widely distributed in the body, metabolism, metabolized in the liver, primarily via what? The cytochrome 3A4. Elimination is about 50 to 60% is through urine, and 30 to 20, 20 to 30% is about what? Through feces. Okay. Half-life that it takes you to get eliminated is about what? 12 to 14 hours in the body. Indications. That means what? Conditions where you can use this drug known as what? Tinidazole. If the patient has what? Trichomoniasis. If they have gadiasis. If they have amebiasis, you can use this drug, okay? And infections caused by what? Anaerobic bacteria like bacterial fusobacterium, you can use this drug. Infections caused by protozoa like Entamoeba histolytica and gadia, you can also use this uh, drug. All right, you see the picture, tinidazole, okay? Dosage, for adult dosage, you give about two grams orally, once daily, for five to, one to five days. The pediatric dose is about what? 50 to 70 milligrams per kilograms, orally, once daily for one to, one to five days. Treatment duration varies depending on the infection type and the severity of the disease condition, okay? Contraindications. You shouldn't use this in people who are pregnant in the first trimester. You shouldn't use this in people who are breastfeeding. You shouldn't use this in people who have a history of being hypersensitive, hypersensitive or allergic to tinidazole or metronidazole, that's plagiary. Okay? They shouldn't use this in people who have severe liver or kidney disease. Why? Because this drug has a first pass effect, and this drug is eliminated, the bulk of it is through the kidney. So if somebody has kidney disease now, it's now worsen the disease, okay? Side effects. On the gastrointestinal system, it causes things like what? Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain. On the neurological system, it can cause things like what? Headaches, dizziness, seizures. On the dermatome, that's on the skin can cause rashes, pruritus, and urticaria, okay? On the hematological effects, can cause a decrease in the number of what? White blood cells, that's leukopenia. Can also cause, cause, also cause a decrease in the number of what? Platelets, that's what? Thrombocytopenia, right? Interactions, alcohol. Avoid concurrent use of alcohol with the drug. If you're taking the drug, don't take alcohol. It can also react to the warfarin, increasing bleeding. It can also react to what cyclosporine, increasing the risk of what being much more toxic to the kidneys. Okay, 
Then lithium can also increase the risk of what lithium toxicity. Okay, so I think okay, we're ending up with the brand names. This drug can come under the brand names such as what Pasigen, Simplotan, Tindamax, and Tiniba. All right, all of that that's brand names for this drug. Okay, so that's it for the pharmacology of what Tiniba does.